And we back. Victor Wibanyama is one of the most hyped prospects to ever hit the NBA. Some have said that he's the number one prospect since 2003 when LeBron James came out. So a bigger prospect than Anthony Davis was, Wiggins was, all of the other first round picks. They're saying Wimby is the guy. And in today's video, we gonna go through the Wimby career. See if he actually lives up to that hype. Before we get into the video, I want to let you know that we have free copies of NBA 2K24 that we're giving out. To get entered, it's very, very simple. You have to hit the link in the description and subscribe to my newsletter. You just enter your email here, and that's it. My newsletter drops Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all things hoops, because we know it's hard to keep up with everything. Like right now, it's kind of easy because it's the offseason. But once the season starts, we have games every single night. If there's one way to keep up with the league, it's the newsletter. So if you don't have NBA 2K24 and you're hoping to get it, this is, this is a way to do it. And don't worry if you've already been a subscriber to the newsletter, you're automatically entered. So this is the time, man. We're going to be giving them away very, very soon. So hit the link in the description. Subscribe to the newsletter for your chance to get NBA 2K24. Uh, so here we go with Victor Wimanyama, 19-year-old, 84 overall. They gave this man everything. They said, hey, he's him. 84 overall. For, for reference, I just want to showcase the players in the league that they're assuming that Wimby's going to be better than the, the moment he steps into the NBA. Same level as Brook Lopez, Vucevic, Paolo Bencaro, Nicholas Claxton, CJ McCollum, Kay Cunningham, so on and so forth. And I'm not saying they're wrong because I believe in Wimby, but that's just high expectations. This might be, might be the best rookie rating they've ever given out for somebody that hasn't played a single second of NBA ball. So I'm excited to see what he turns into. He's even got six badges, which is a lot. Uh, compared to um, other rookies in the class, like if you look at almost any other rookies, they don't. 2K doesn't really care about badges. Um, so because like school has four, Cam Whitmore has one, Taylor Hendricks with zero, and so on and so like you have to go quite a far ways down. Um, oh, that's the number one overall pick from last year. But for the most part, even Jabari Smith Jr., who's number three last year, he got zero badges. So uh, they just don't be giving those out. Brandon Miller, third overall pick, zero badges. Uh, so let's just see how Wimby's career starts off. First game is an absolute win. Now, I don't control things, so when they offer me a trade, I don't want to be the guy to say, no, they, they might have won a click Pella for whatever reason. Um, uh, but Wimby's first career game is a 20-pointer where he was super efficient. You want to see him get up more shot attempts than nine, but it is what it is. Only three rebounds. You want to see more rebounding. But four blocks of two steals, six, six stocks completely um, is, pr is pretty cool. Now, the simulation speed in this game is awful. I've mentioned this in yesterday's video as well. Like, it looks fine right now. Once you get to the middle of the season, it slugs down. So, I might have to film this in parts because I can't sit here for six hours straight to watch Wimby do whatever he got to do. But, as of right now, a, a month into the season, above 500 team with Wimby. This Spurs team was awful last year. He immediately comes in and they're above 500 at the moment. Long season left. Long season left. We're going to go to about the all-star draft because who knows? He might get that love. All right, year one, there was no reason to stop at the break. They're, they are not above 500 like I, <laughs> like they were for the first week. Um, but, uh, I mean, maybe Wimby makes the all-star game. Let's go into this draft and see if that's the case. Uh, the, the answer is uh, no, no. Yeah, no, he's he's not. Um, a lot of y'all did point this out in yesterday's video. Anything that changed in the mode so far. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, here we go. John Moran seems like he's going to win a lot of MVP awards in these two these 2K videos. But we do see Wimby win Rookie of the Year. 19, 10, 2.5 assists, 2.5 blocks. Because we'll round up for him about a steal. 42% for the field, 33% for three. Not the greatest percentages, but hey, rookie season, center, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Bebo Paul wins uh, most approved player, Giannis EPOY, and clutch player of the year. Yeah, we were bad, which is fine because Wimby's going to need some help. And uh, the Spurs, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they didn't make any uh, significant trades. So, yeah, whoa, everybody's, everybody's really upset. <laughs> All right. Wimby's not. Wimby's chilling. He knows it's part of the process, man. He knows it's part of the process. You don't get good players without being bad for a significant amount of time. It's just a fact. Year one is Shea and OKC versus James Harden. And James Harden and company sweep. That's the second video in a row where the first season we see James Harden's team. Um, why do I call it James Harden's team? The 76ers go on to win a championship. Is that foreshadowing? I don't know. Is he going to stay? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, so, okay, league meetings and stuff. We're going to go through that pretty easily. Uh, will they have a top pick? The answer is they don't have a top pick. They have the top pick. All right, Spurs Nation. Watch it be a, a center. 
It's not. <gasps> Rodney Knox the second is the highest. He is 85. This team is winning 100 championships in the Wimben Wimbenyama era. This guy comes in as an eight higher than what Wimby came in as. It's over with. It's it. Oh my God. It's over with. Don't overthink it. Draft the guy. Draft the guy. You know you have to. You know. What if they don't? What if there's somebody else that they want? I'm not the in charge. I'm not in charge. They take Rodney Knox, 6'6 six, six point guard. He is a stud. Wow. They just lucked out. Having Wimbenyama than this guy coming in next. The Spurs have had the most luck when it comes to generational talents between David Robinson, Tim Duncan, and now Wimbenyama and this Knox fella. The Spurs fans, this is this is for this is for you. I think they have a little bit of money to spend in free agency. I don't know if they will, but they can be competent this year, man. Wimby jumps up 88. They bring in Malik Monk and Jared Vanderbilt. So they spent some money. Uh, also, Xavier Tillman, they trade for you? Nope, they just signed you a free agency. So yeah, 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 Spurs. Yeah. This is a good way to use the Wimbin Yama era, man. Not waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Now, no, they didn't go out and get a big name free agent, but Malik Monk and who? Jerry Vanderbilt can hoop. I'm just realizing that both of those players um, played in L.A. at different times, but, you know, over the last couple of years. So this is what the new lineup looks like. Oh, Devin Vassell is gone. They let Devin Vassell walk. For, for, for why? For why? Oh, he plays for the Kings now. Was that a, was that a trade then? Because we got Malik Monk. No, we just signed Malik Monk. Three-year contract. And they just signed Devin Vassell. I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, but the Wimby era is here and he's got a co-star Let this this first game with the new team Ooh -wee. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with the man. Oh, Wimby is about to have an amazing career Now they were good with his co-star They're 20 and 19 years old. The league is in absolute trouble Rodney Knox is exactly who we thought he was the rookie of the year and that's that's the highlight of year number two. Other than Wimby did not make the All-Star game. Let me double check that because I did stop at the All-Star game. And he was there last year? What is... He was there last year? Did y'all not see him? I didn't see him last year. But they say he was an All-Star last year. But he wasn't an All-Star this year. Even though he made All-NBA. Um, yeah, Wimby. Do your thing, brother. This is, year, this is year two him. And he's doing this already. 22 and 10. Three assists and two blocks. The efficiency went off on, uh, up on everything and even made the second team all defensive. This is just the beginning. Oh, did we make the play-in? The answer is, uh, wait, that's the wrong side. We're in the Western Conference. Yes, play-in for Wimby, baby. Going against the Warriors who uh, no longer have Draymond or Draymond's coming off the bench. No longer have Klay Thompson or Klay Thompson's coming off the bench. I don't know the answer to it. But we do want to jump into some Wimby games, man. This is not all about just sitting back and watching numbers. We want to see some gameplay. Unfortunately, we're gonna get. <laughs> we're not making a play in this season. We're just maybe a year too early. We get dominated by uh, the f former champions. They have Ben Simmons on the team now, uh, so obviously trades are going rampant in this association. But we are an organization as the Spurs who don't do many trades. It's just not. It's not their they DNA. They never been a team that's gonna do a lot of midseason trades. Damian Lillard is in the finals. That's fun, and so is the Cavs because of course the Cavs are. They always are, and we do see. Uh, Dame and company win. So, Lillard, you just got to stay and somehow get DeJounte Murray on the roster and Click Capella and Tobias Harris and Joe, Isaiah Joe. Just put that put that roster together, Trailblazer fans, and you'll be all right. So, since we didn't make it, we could win the lottery. Uh, that Bulls pick is top 10 protected. Can we jump up? The answer is no. The Bulls end up the first overall pick. We have 12 and 13 and 23 and 24. Okay, so not nearly as fun. As the first overall pick, but a pick is a pick at the end of the day. I'm going straight to play progress because we only care to see what would Wimby and Knox. Can we get a nickname for Wimby and Knox? Because those two dudes are crazy. Jeremy is hitting his stride as well. Um, having a good season where he even shot the three-point ball decently. 91 overall for Wimby. And then almost 90 for the 19-year-old point guard out of, what did you come out of? Cincy. Yeah, this team is poised for a run. They got Gabe Washington Jr., they got a uh, uh, name to be uh, learned later, um, Grant Ray, and then Turk. That was their draft. They didn't do anything in free agency, which is, uh, you know, I'm a little bit mad about. But hey, 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 hey. You got 290 overall players already, and they're both 22 or younger. So, like, you, you feel pretty good about that. First game of year three is also a win. And, yeah, 
when, when he's, the way he's progressing right now, he's poised to have at least a couple MVP seasons. You know, only thing is sometimes his shot tendency is too low. We're like, if you gonna shoot it at this clip with this efficiency, get the 25 shots. Why not? Why not? What is your career high, Wimby? Let me just quickly see that. In year three, his career high is 45. Brandon Miller has a 47-point game this year. And either Lonzo or LaMelo is getting them three-pointers up. I don't know which one that is. L, L ball. I just want everybody to recognize how lucky we are that, that we got that, that Knox guy. It could have been a center with the first pick. Like, you, you can't really control it, obviously. We do get the first big award of Wimby's career, which is the DPOY. All-NBA, second team again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, San Antonio's back on top. They're just back on top. What can I say? We got both of our players make all NBA and all defensive. This is the time to be a Spurs fan. A playoff appearance against the Sacramento Kings. So Wimby versus Demontis Sabonis, a guy that's all about bruising his opponents versus a guy that is thin as paper sometimes. Uh, their, their wings are not very good though. Otto Porter and then Alec Burks. Like, yikes. I want to simcast until we get a game to jump into. I just want to see the gameplay. I just want to see what it's like. But it has to be a close game, obviously. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to watch the first appearance of Victor Wimbanyama. He is in the game and he is guarding a bonus. It is a one or two point game with a minute to go. Wimby's a stud right now, as we all know. Let's see how this goes. Do we like the broadcast camera angle? They adjust it. It feels a little bit differently than any other year. But here we go. Oh, down low. Ijax with the poster on on. Um, Malik Monk, I was going to say former teammates, but they didn't cross paths. But crazy dunk. The fans don't even get hyped. That dunk just tied the game with a minute to go. Come on, Sacramento. We know y'all supposed to be loud here, but come on. We got to be better than that. Here we go with Knox. He just, he's 6'7 or 6'6. Six, six. He's, he's being guarded by De'Aaron Fox, making him look small. Let's see number one get that ball, though. Let's see number one get that ball. Or is this an isolation for our guard? You know, sometimes they say the guard is the one to close out the game. Wimby is just sitting in the corner. Why Knox goes to work. Hold on. Two-point game. This is a big game. You do not want to go down 3-1. You do not want to go down 3-1. Also, I'm noticing the lineup for the Kings. Um, 2K has said to us that in this cycle, they were going to do better with this type of thing. The Kings are currently running four centers. Okay, said that wasn't going to be the case this year. And here we go. The first day of the game, it is the case. So that's no fun for anybody involved. It's supposed to be better and smarter. There's... Um, Mitchell Robinson going straight up on Knox saying, hey, maybe the, the big ball comp is working. That's two back-to-back -back layups. You can't do anything about it when he, you're being guarded by somebody that's seven inches shorter than you. But here we go, Knox with the ball again. Can we just get number one a touch at all? At all? Or is he just going to play role player to Knox today? He already got 30. He should touch the ball at least one more time. Pick a roll with Jared Vanderbilt. Jared Vanderbilt gets an easy lay. And it is a two-point game with one shot clock left. Oh, I, so they, they changed this. I'm so used to the previous two Ks where the score box was in this corner, but now it's in that corner. So I was just covering the score. My bad. <laughs> my, my, my bad. Two-point game, 20 seconds ago. They actually have a real lineup out there now. So maybe they won't score because that, that other lineup was nice. Here's this guy. Uh, <laughs> then they go to Keegan. He missed the open three. Wow, Keegan could have gave them the lead with 10 seconds left. Malik Monk with the first free throw was good. One possession game. He is this one. The game is all but over, and we will see it going to game five tied up. And that is going to be the case. All right. There's supposed to be a Wimby video, and he didn't even touch the ball. He didn't get a rebound. He didn't get a stop. He didn't do anything. Who is this guy? All right, I see you. He didn't do anything, but he had a good game. It's just when we jumped in, he wasn't on nothing. It is a 3-2 series lead now, a 40-point game from Knox. Can we go to that? Ooh, second round. It's eluding us, y'all. Here we go. Game 7 in San Antonio versus the lower seed of Sacramento Kings. We should be able to beat this team pretty easily in the series. That's what I thought going into it. But I would be mistaken. The youth of Victor Wimanyama shows his head because we keep a track of his playoff record. We got to do that for the course of this, this video. He is 0-1 uh, when it comes to playoff series. And in a game seven closeout, he fouled out in 27 minutes. That does not bode well for the legacy talk. For a guy that is supposed to be the biggest prospect since LeBron, he he, he ain't done nothing in the playoffs just yet. Just yet. That's why I got to put the get to it because it's been very early. Jalen Brown gets finals MVP. Um... Because Jason Tatum never resigns and he always goes to, to Dallas. Second video in a row. 
Uh, Patrick Williams also leaving, I guess. Second video in a row we've seen Jason Tatum end up on Dallas. So maybe that's a trend that we're going to see a lot this year. I don't know. Not signing a guy like Jason Tatum back seems like malpractice, but what do I know? We have the ninth overall pick from the Bulls, so we have another lottery pick, which could be cool or not. At some point, you want to just start using those lottery picks or draft capital to go get real people because the draft is finicky. You know, sometimes you do well, most times you don't. And we'd already had all of the draft luck at this point. So we, we're not really expecting anything. 94, 93. Um, Keldon is not progressing at all. He's just a guy. It sucks because I think he could be better than just a guy. The ninth overall pick, we drafted Alex Murray out of Texas Tech. And though he don't have any like crazy attributes, 78 overall at the ninth overall pick is pretty good. It's pretty good. He's a fast dude, super athletic. Maybe he'll turn into something eventually where he can be our starting shooting guard down the line. But Malachi Branham looks like he's taking that spot away from Malik Monk. So we got some good things happening. Jeremy's doing his thing as well. Uh, ultra swift ar swish army knife. Um, you want his assistant numbers to go up a little bit, but so, so be it. Going into your number four. The time is now, Mr. Victor. You got your MVP. You got a DPOY. Now you need some playoff success. And listen, I'm not even saying you got to win the championship. I just said you got to see some... Oh, Will Hardy's our coach now. Oh, I guess Pop retired. He, he is super old. Uh, I'm just saying you have to see some success. Some... Oh, Rodney is out for two to four, though. Rodney's crazy good, bro. But he's out two to four. Will we be able to do it when we're missing one of our All-NBA players? He's also All-Defensive. That's just so crazy to me. Will we be able to do it without him? This could add to your, your legacy. Champion, or championship, of course, would be great. But just winning the playoff series. Now, these guys are really good. Josh Giddy, Shea, and Chet. Like, that's a good lineup. Oh, we have Lou Dort. Lou Dort's Revenge. Lou Dort's Revenge, I'm calling it. Look at that. What did I say? Four three-pointers made for Mr. Lou. I don't want to lose in the first round, but it's without Rodney, I just don't think we got it. Game seven, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, man. Wendy, you cannot have two first round exits as the higher seed in your, your resume, man. I already can see the people on um, first take talking trash about you, man. Luckily, you get out of there, and it better be a good game from you. Oh, my God. He had another bad game seven. I'm keeping a track. Of all the things in the playoffs so far, two bad game sevens. Luckily, Jeremy said, I got us, and Rodney was back. Okay, all right, that helps. But two bad game sevens is inexcusable. Now we're going against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who we just saw Kerry Irvin as their sixth man. Why is he not starting over Marcus Smart? Your guess is as good as mine. We're so deep into the future that no team even looks remotely the same. Oh, because Kyrie's a two-man instead of a one-man in the game. Right. I'm not going to tell them to fix it. They're my opponent right now. <laughs> you feel me? Let Kyrie come off the bench, even though he's just start. Dang, this guy's crazy. Wimby, another foul out game, Wimby. Come on, man. You the reigning MVP. We cannot have you out here stinking it up, Wimby. And in the closeout game where you got eliminated, he did come to play, shot a lot of shots, but missed a lot of them too. Second round exit, Wimby. Yikes. All right, all right, all right. So because I'm so aware that he's going to play 20 plus seasons... I don't think I'm going to show you every single year. It just has to be one of those years where something impactful happens. This is, of course, an impactful season because he just won. Oh, look, Draymond and Rudy Gobert ended up on the same team, and they, like, fake hate each other. Um, it, it, you know, this was the MVP year. So, of course, I have to show you that. Of course, I do. But some of these years, if they're just not getting it done. Oh, we got the fifth pick. Sheesh. If they're just not getting it done, then they're not getting it done. Wow. Um, whether it be through free agency or whatever. Desmond Bain is on the team now. A lot of auto-generated guys. I got to assume that one of those dudes is former top five picks. So that's ugly. But Desmond Bain being on the team is crazy. Now, he only averaged 20 last season, but this efficiency is something we need, baby. That's something we need, man. Uh, another 1C season underway, hopefully. Gresham, ladies and gentlemen, he is in a conference finals for the first time in his career. And not only are they in the conference finals, they're dominating the opponents. Jaron, Jalen Green, and Luka Doncic on the Clippers. What the heck? Are we sure that Wimby's going to stay on the team? Nobody else is loyal. Jokic, well, Jokic. Um, Wimby's the second best playing ball. I, technically, close to the first. Uh, Luka changed teams. Uh, we, got, we got two of the top five players in all of basketball. 
Even Shea has switched teams. Like, look at the Brooklyn over here. Okay, Zion is still the same. Booker is still the same. But we got a couple loyal guys. But for the most part, we're seeing people go all over the place. Oh, I mean, all right. I'm, I guess I'm here for it. We living in this fictional world, and uh, loyalty doesn't exist. NBA Finals. It wasn't even. It wasn't even our guy Wimby to make it uh, or to win the Finals MVP, Conference Finals MVP. It was Rodney. I can't be mad at that. Brandon Miller versus. Oh my God. One versus three pick. Here we go. Jairus Walker's on the team too. So a lot of people from this draft class end up on the same team. But we just look we just look superior, man. I want to see an NBA Finals game. Three games in, um, need, none of the games have been close enough to ju- close enough for us to jump in. Two one series lead for the Spurs, by the way, if you were wondering. So it is looking good for the for the good guys. But as you can see, these games are not going. Oh, I'm sorry, we were down two one. <laughs> All right. Well, now it is tied. Now it is tied. We go back to San Antonio. You know, feeling like we need this win. And I don't know if it's going to happen. Not. Uh Uh-oh. 3-2 series. What is Coach... uh, Who's our coach? Will Hardy going to... What is Coach Will Hardy going to do? What adjustments will he make? Is Wimby going to be 0-1 in the NBA Finals? The answer is... Yes. Yes. Even though they had that that super late push right here. The answer is yes. Dang. It looked like we were the better team. Knox just made a three as the time expired. It wasn't really that close. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, the Hornets get the first championship in franchise history. Congratulations to them. As we... Oh my God. So many heavy hitters are retiring. I'm not stopping nobody. As we saw, this is a huge season because Wimby is a free agent. Will he resign? Or will he go? Um, That is the question that needs to be answered. He's only 24. He's only 24. All I'm saying, if that brother do not come back to San Antonio, it's going to be crazy. He's getting his own decision. Um, Restricted free agent, 15 offers, and there's a lot of teams interested. Will they match is the question. Also, um, Knox as well. The Grizzlies. Yo, the Spurs didn't even put their name in, but it's restricted, so they might just match it. I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going to simulate and see who's on the roster. Come play a progression. And ooh, we got to switch teams, boy. We got to switch teams. And we don't. Everybody's here. Um, Desmond Bain is dropping at age 30. That's no surprise to us. But we do get both of our guys for four more years. Can we get a round of applause to the front office of the Spurs for not overthinking it like every other team? Those The Celtics letting Tatum walk and so on and so forth. All right. So we will be going into year number five or six tomorrow morning. I got to go catch some Z's. It's two o'clock in the morning. I'll see y'all in the morning. Part two is on the way, and Wimby just won another MVP award. Now, his count of stats are down from his first award, but since the team is winning a bunch of games and he's still potentially the DPOY, then it's pretty easy for him to continue to get this award. Also, my guy Click just did an experiment, and he says that Sim Speed is four times faster on PlayStation 4 or 5. The, the, the newest PlayStation. So this might be the last video we film on Xbox 2 is fixed. So I went down. Oh my God, Brandon Miller is spazzing. Well, he did just beat us in the championship, didn't he? So we know he's good. Um, yeah, this might be the last time I, I film a video <laughs> on the Xbox until it's patched or something. Because uh, we will be transitioning. I would be transitioning over to the PlayStation now, but we so deep into this video. I'm definitely not starting over. So it is what it is. We got to thug it out today. One seed again. And now we know that we can make it to the playoffs. We can make a top seed. We can make it to the second round conference finals, potentially get to the finals. But can we finally raise the Larry O'Brien? We're back in the conference finals to go against the Pelicans who don't have Zion. They don't have Brandon Ingram. They, they, their team looks awful in comparison. Like, how did this team just make a nice run? Shout out to them from the three seed here. Unless they're dealing with some major injuries. And if you look at their team, nope, there's no major injuries. This, this is exactly who they are. We should be able to beat them pretty easily. And we're in the finals to go against Tyrese Halliburton and the Indiana Pacers. Let's see what they got. OG Ananobi, Cam Whitmore, Tari Eason. Oh, Chamezi. That's our guy. Shout out to Mezzi. But he got a guard, Victor Wembanyama. He got a guard, the three-time MVP. It's going to be a rough matchup for him. Desmond Bain is now sub-80 overall. So uh, <laughs> that's something to, to think about. Um, he's guaranteed $40 million this year. I don't know if he has a player option, team option or something. But this might be the last year we see of Desmond Bain on this team. 
because uh, he's expensive and he's just not very good anymore. And the Spurs are two games away from their first championship since uh, the the Kawhi Lin the end of the Kawhi Leonard era, or the end of the Tim Duncan era. H have you want to call it? Have you want to call it? Um, two one series after this one because that was not close. Again, we're trying to get games in the finals so I can see the finals presentation, but it ain't it ain't happening. These games ain't been close. So this is considered close, but it's only a minute left. One point game. Uh, let's, let's see the tale of the story. Cam Whitmore and Tyrese are having a good game. Oh, well, Cam Whitmore hit six threes, but in the in the post or in the mid-range or Duncan, he's struggling. And on the other side, Wimby is putting up a stinker for the MVP. And then same thing for Knox. I mean, he's facilitating well, but they both of our scores are not scoring. Wimby with the ball. You got to make something shake, big fella. Guarded by our friend Tari Eason. Tari Eason with some good defense, but up and around him. That is the first time we're actually seeing Wimby Yama score. And this is like year six. <laughs> it's the first time we see them score and it was easy for him it was real easy uh because they have tari easton playing the five going small ball and yeah uh it's it looks pretty easy so far that's a big height difference big possession right here for the pacers five seconds and them hard with it passes up to cam whitmore step back cam whitmore for four feet away he missed it got his own board but wait a minute two things we gotta we gotta point out on this play give this guy a a nap, killed it. Where he didn't even do a move. He just. Oh well, he did step back. I guess. Okay, so he missed that four foot jumper, six foot jumper. Wimby comes down. This is the DPO at number one. He comes down. Offensive rebound happens. Hello, Mister Mister Twelve for Twelve. Why are we not jumping for a block? Instead, just get a weak old contest and it's back to a one point game. Hello, oh Jananobi mid range jumper, no good. Uh, rebound goes to our Spurs and just like that, the game. It's practically over. Shout out to the San Antonio Spurs. One game away from being crowned NBA champions. We got 14 VC for that. Shout out to them. And we close it out. The first championship of Wimby's career. Um, it took until 25. So he's still super young. I know in real simulation years it feels like a lot. But he's 25 years old. Three years left on his contract with the Spurs team. The, oh my God, Steph Curry. Uh, they're going to be back. And they might win multiple. Yes, Desmond Bain was injured, and that's why his overall was lower, because he's um, back to 82? Uh, don't ask me. Don't ask me. I have no idea. So Wimby has been an Ironman for the most of his career, right? I decided to keep injuries on because we talk about a guy that's 7'4 and 210 pounds. Injury is a, is a mystery. Um, this year, he only played 68, which is still pretty good. But he's currently dealing with a broken leg. But he's day-to-day -day with a broken leg? I, I don't, don't ask me. You feel me? I don't understand it. How do you only miss... Uh, math, math. 14 games. Is that good math? I don't know. 14 games and then maybe a, a couple playoff games and then you're after a broken leg. Like, did he play game one? He played game one. He didn't miss no time. He broke his leg and was like, ah, oh, give me give me two, three weeks. I'll be all right. And here he is potentially leading this team. Ooh, that's like a game seven. And in the game seven, he, he got injured. We have Kyrie Irving on the roster. Huh. Things, are, things are changing. Um, This time... Severe left ankle sprain, and he's out for the entire playoff run. Can they do it without him? Uh-oh. Is this good for his legacy? If 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 Knox comes in and immediately wins them a championship without Vic, Victor Wimbyama, can he be the greatest of all time if he's just a piece? Oh, he might be just a piece. This might be the greatest player of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's, that's, a po that's a real possibility. Brother just got a free championship after a sprained ankle. As the, as the best player in the league. Because if you go to overalls, he's number one. But he does have number three on this team. So, uh, yeah. Interesting stuff. Y'all can debate in the comment section. Is that tarnish his legacy? You feel me? Because that's what this is about. Is he going to be the best of all time? We were wondering about it. Wimby does re-up four year. $237 million contract. It's weird that it's only that when like Jalen Brown got 300 M's. Wimby has won multiple MVPs and stuff. Now last year he did not make an All-NBA team because he dealt with injuries for the second year in a row. This time only playing 62 games, which is still a lot of games, you know what I'm saying? It will qualify him for awards, but compared to his full 82, 82, 82 for three years in a row, um, he's going in the wrong direction when it comes to his health. The team hasn't won a championship until that, since that one year without him. Malachi Branham is out for two to four, who's our starting shooting guard. So instead, we got Plavo Markov, uh, who played a lot of different teams so far. But apparently, he can shoot the heck out of it. Like, his three-point percentage has been good his whole career. So, you know, Wimby's career is staying in San Antonio. We were just a little bit afraid that he was going to be like everybody else because Luka's now on the Knicks and Jason Tatum is on his fifth team. A lot of stuff has changed. Okay. 
for the Wimby doubters about his real impact because they won a championship without him when Knox was doing his great stuff. Game two of the Western Conference Finals, Knox got, is that Elton Brand? Earl Brand, okay, uh, must be related. Knox got injured. Uh, he tore his meniscus, which is an injury that is a lot deeper than a uh, sprained ankle that Wimby had. We also got our backup center in Rogers day to day. So he gets injured after game one where he had 25 and five. Well, he gets injured during game one because he only played 23 minutes. Game two, Wimby said, I got us 40 points. Game three, Wimby said, I got us 40 points. Game four, um, less of that, but you know, whatever. Uh, game five, Wimby said, I got us. Game six, Wimby was good. And then game seven, Wimby had almost a 20-20 while Jeremy Sohan, who's been the unsung hero of this video so far, let's be real, did his thing. So Wimby has led a team to the finals without Knox in the lineup. Instead, it's an old, old Bones Highland at the point guard position. And let's see if they can win without Knox. Game one is a win. And it's, oh my God, we were just talking trash about old Bones. He's 32. But in a game one of the NBA Finals, he had 39-9 and nine on crazy efficiency. Wimby fouls out in 27 minutes, so maybe not the greatest, but he was efficient. Game two is a Wimby game. Nine offensive rebounds. You know how hard it is to win a game when you give up 19 offensive rebounds to the opposing team? It's not going to happen often. 3-0 series lead. J Jeremy, but look at, look at our guy. Wimby is one game away from another finals MVP, and they get it. 31 14 4, two blocks, crazy. If it's 50 40 97 in the finals, and now everybody that was wondering, can he do it without Knox? The answer is yes. So, 29 years old this moment, he's going to hit the 30, uh, 30 year old club very soon. Three time champion, five time MVP. The two time finals MVP. This don't even account for his DPOYs, which I think at this point is. 10-year uh, career, six DPOYs. He's he's got a case, got a case, and he's only 30, not even 30, but he's got a case to be in the guy. Now he's not perfect in the finals like MJ was at six and zero, but you know it's still a long time to add more finals rings uh, to, to the equation. I can't lie, I've been wanting to see Knox and w oh they lost, but Wimby still won Finals MVP. What the heck? The first time I've seen someone win Finals MVP on the losing squad. Uh, Wimby is just th that adds to the resume, right? Like he 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 gets an L in the finals, but the league still determined that he was the best player, even though they were on the losing team. And in his closeout game, he did his part. They just didn't put it together. Um, I've been waiting for the time where these two dudes split up, but they both keep reading up. Like Rodney was supposed to be a free agency, he signed an extension during the season, and then Wimby's 31. He's on the last year of his deal, so maybe this is when. It's going to happen. Four-time champion, seven-time MVP. But I'm just curious to see because his numbers don't look too crazy because he's also playing with a dude. He's averaging 24. He's been averaging about 22 to 24 since 2027. We're in 2036 because Knox is also averaging 20 plus. So it's like, you know, 2K doesn't have it so that you can have two people averaging 30, you know, or something like that. Uh, so I've been waiting for the time that they're not on the same team, but they just love playing on the same roster. Like, if you go gonna be in the finals seven times, why switch anything up? You know what I'm saying? Just keep getting those super deep playoff runs. A rematch of the century. We got the Spurs back in their 100th NBA Finals. Um, Knox is now only a 91, so at age 30, he's hit his regression period. Uh, Wimby low-key is regressing too, but very slowly. He was a 97 at one point, and he's a 95 plus a morale boost. So, uh, yeah, I, we, we lost to them in seven last year. Can we can we beat them this time around? Game one is a win where Knox is the best player on the court. Uh, the offensive rebound numbers for the Spurs are probably why we beat a lot of different teams. Because we find a way between Wimby and some other people to usually... Oh, this game we lost... And we only got 12 offensive boards. Like, we find a way to get more possessions here in San Antonio. And one game away, still one game away, still one game away. It's time for the Simcast, baby. It's time for this 3-1 lead, Wimby. You know they talking about it. You don't want to be the second in, in league history to do that. Why not? Why not jump in? Down by one. Two and a half minutes to go. Because we don't know how long the prime of Wimby is going to last. He's already 30. So we want to kind of be here for the big moments and... Would it be in a game seven, two point, or two minutes left, one point game? We have to get in where we can. Be guarding 36, who was Vincent. Uh, Cam Whitmore, 
the physics on his hair is kind of crazy. They just move all over the place. That's just the way 2K does braids. Good pick and roll. Blocked by... Is that my guard? No, that, was, that wasn't. That wasn't Knox. That wasn't Knox. That was some other generated guy. I was about to say, no way the point guard got up like that. That's a center probably or power forward or something. I have no idea. Wimby for Mitty. Bang. Takes the lead. I'm also recognizing that the lineup that is in the game right now for us is this guy, Joshua Holmes. Um, it is Rogers, who's a center. It's Jeremy. Okay, I thought they, I thought it was like all bigs. It's not all bigs. Okay, my fault, 2K. I was about to start criticizing, which you, you do deserve criticism, but not for this one. Not for this. Jeremy's hair. Oh my God, Cam Whitmore with another crossover. He gets to the basket. Why? What's up with the with the stumble animations in this game? One minute to go, up by one. Close out game. I don't know why Knox is not in the game. Did he foul out? Maybe he sure did. He sure did. So this is really the Wimby show now that Knox is not there. And look at our 7-4 center. Guarded by a wing. He is dribble moving, trying to get past, and he's struggling. But he does get to the basket. He goes right over the small defender. That is another bucket for Wimby Yama. See, this is why I want to see him and Knox get split up. That's why I want to see it. Because I want to see Wimby, because he only be averaging 23 or so. Like, I, I kind of want to see Wimby on a bad bad team built around him so he could get the board and push it and i have to outlet it to Knox. he's closing out this game seven he, he's give it to him he's guarded by seven a six one guy why is he at the three-point line go get the ball wimby no you went the other way home should not be touching the ball there we go three-pointer over the little man oh he missed it i was gonna say oh yeah he's the goat i was gonna give him the goat title right there right there but it didn't happen oh my god baylor for three to tie the game bang baylor hits a big time three 40 seconds to go, tie game, winner takes it all. Mayo with the ball, green from Holmes, what is he going to do? I mean, I know what he should do, he should find number one, but he takes the jump shot himself. That is such a tough shot. Jeremy Sohan with a huge board, Mayo with the cut to the basket, and the floater is up, and it is in. Mayo went from having a bad possession to potentially winning the series with that shot. They still have the same glitch where a team would burn through three timeouts on one possession. And that's exactly what the Pacers did. So uh, they have no more for the rest of this game. Uh, why? 2K's buggy. You know? Just the, the way it is. And we have to just accept it. Ha, ha, ha. Cam Whitmore. Oh, see, he's getting a lot of stumble animations. Cam Whitmore must have some crazy, like, playmaking crossover badges or something. Here he is with the ball. 14 seconds left in the season, potentially. There he is. Wimby. Why is Wimby never jump for a block? You're 12 foot three. Just jump. Cam Whitmore with a huge basket, 10 seconds to go. Mayo bet not take this shot, because if he does, he's getting cut. I don't control the team, but I'm going to make sure he gets cut. Wimby with the ball, yes, this is what we need. This is what we need. Victor Wibanyama, five seconds on the clock. He's trying to get past his defender, Levinston. He pump fake, pump fakes again, gets the shot up. What a bad possessor from our 12-time MVP or however many times. So we do go to OT in the game seven, which is great for the league. You know, the ratings are probably pretty okay. Um, and I say okay because this, this Pacers team don't have a superstar. You know, usually you want to see two superstars go head-to-head, -head, duke it out. This team does not have a superstar. They just have a really good, well-put-together team. Let's see what happens. It is a blowout for the good guys. Five seconds ago, we will jump in so we can see if the celebration animation is different. But the overtime is all spurs all the time. And it is Wimby with six, a lot from the free throw line. And then Malachi also, oh no, Malachi is nine. Malachi is the winner of, of the, the overtime. He really just put his team on his back. Cam Whitmore with the ball, three seconds, two seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the San Antonio Spurs have won, I don't know, their 12th championship in history. Wimby just threw the ball off the bottom of the rim. He tried to throw it into the crowds. He missed. <laughs> he missed. Uh, celebration is um something. Uh, okay, yeah, here's the real animation. Okay, great. Wembenyama! Look at the guy! He's the guy! Yeah! You see, that's new, right? I don't know. I, I don't be playing the game as much as I probably should. Rodney Knox gets carried to another championship. Second one in a row, easy. The injured or fouled out. And Wimby is so tall that his face is not even in frame. How great is that? His face is literally not in frame. And he gives the trophy to his teammate. This is Shaq and Kobe 2.0! These two dudes are what would have happened if Shaq and Kobe did not break up. I, I, I'm saying it. There's so much success between the two of them. Again, I was one complaining that I want to see them break up, but now I'm thinking about it. Why? They're just so good together. They're the perfect team. 
And now they're both post 30 years old. Who knows how many years they got left of greatness together? Championship, man. And in the finals, 27, 12, 5, 2 blocks. He was doing great stuff. Now things get really interesting because it is just the top two guys and they're both regressing. And the rest of the team is pretty old and not so great. We have Chris House. We have Malachi Branham. We have Jeremy Sohan. All of these dudes are getting closer and closer to retirement. So I wonder if the team will stay good. Now, wow. Um, maybe yes, because there's the, the league is kind of bad. All players, there's only a handful of 90 plus overalls. So the fact that we have two players that are 90-ish, 90-ish, makes me think that we going to still be really, really good, even though the rest of the roster is not very good. All right, can we agree um, that this is the best career of all time? 10-time MVP, plus six championships, 15-time All-Star, 12-time All-NBA first team, so on and so forth, six finals MVPs. So, oh, wait, every single finals he's won has been a finals MVP. So he didn't win every single conference finals MVP, but the NBA finals, he got those. Uh, there's another Knox, the second. What about our guy? Our guy's not as good. Uh, Wimby just won another MVP. Like, at this point in time, I'm just going until he retires because I think he's proven everything. I just want to see what the final numbers look like. Can he get one more? Because the team is, I will show you the team. The team ain't very crazy. Knox is uh, 85. Wimby at 35 is still killing it again. But yes, yeah, it's a super old team. They're not very great, but Wimby's kind of carrying at the moment. Uh, can he get another one? The answer is, okay, no, not this year at least. Not this year. There's another ball brother. His name is Joey. He's in the finals goal against the Orlando Magic and the Orlando Magic win. So we're just watching and waiting for the time we see his name pop up. It ain't happening yet. Uh, the league has got progressively, progressively worse. So that's why at the age of 35, he can still put up crazy numbers. Because there's only a few 90 overall players in the entire world, I guess. Five hours later. Uh, because the simulation speed is so bad. Wimby has finally caught it a career at the age of 40. One team, man. Going down in history as one of the greatest of all time. Is he one? Is he two? Is he three? Is he something else? We're about to find out. Here's part of his accolades. That's 11-time MVP. It's going to be hard to beat that. Six-time champion. Six-time finals MVP. Which doesn't make sense because it says NBA champion in 29, 31, but thir I, I don't understand it. A 20-time All-Star in his 21-year career. So after year number one, he was doing it all the time. And then All-NBA first team 14 times. Career high in points is 58. 12 three-pointers made in a single game. 26 boards and 13 offensive. 13 assists. 9 blocks. He never got to a 10-block game. But uh, 5 steals. And he's still an 86. But it's, it's time, for him, time for him to retire. And of course, it's time for him for, to get inducted into the Hall. See where he stacks up against... Uh, the greatest of all time. He played the most amount of games. And remember, injuries are on. So he, he fought through everything and ended up playing the most amount of games of all time behind Robert Parrish, LeBron, um, I mean, in front of Robert Parrish, Anthony Edwards, and LeBron. But when it comes to 50-point games, Victor Wibanyama is not high on this. Maybe I look past him. No way he's only had one. Cool Henderson only had 150. That feels whack. Okay, he had six of them. Okay, he had six of them, which is tied for 22nd in league history. We ended up in total points. He is fourth all-time in total points. He played another season. He could get even higher. But again, that's 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 a dead mission. LeBron is still the all-time leading scorer at 42,000. Field goals made, he ends up six. Um, Three-pointers made. The 7-4 center out of France Ends up second all time. Grady Dick is third all time in three point shooting. By the way, our guy Rodney Knox ends up number ten. Um, so this is insane. He's two hundred three pointers away from Steph Curry. He's seven four rebounds. He's third all time. Don't expect anything to assist. Second all time in blocks. Yeah, I mean, can we agree? Can we agree, ladies and gentlemen? Greatest of all time. The trophy, ch the trophy chest speaks for itself, I think. He ended up winning five MVPs in a row, and that was after uh, four bef in a row before that. So, yeah, 2K thinks that Victor Wimbledon is going to be the absolute real deal. Jersey, of course, is going to get retired. A 21-year career with the San Antonio Spurs. And now the Spurs have 11 championships. I think we mentioned that earlier. 11 championships, man. They continue to be great. And their all-time leaders are three big men. It's crazy. Hey, man, if you watched this entire video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. And we will be back tomorrow with another 2K24 banger. Peace.